This is question number nine from revision quiz two for probability and stats. It says, in a case of failure terminating time, lifetime testing, 10 failures are observed in a total operation time of 148.2 hours, but it's failure terminated. Assume that the failure times are independent exponential random variables with mean mu. We seek to conduct a chi-squared test on the hypothesis um, the H0 mu is equal to 9 and H1 mu is greater than 9. And we want to answer the following, giving answers to three correct decimal places. What is the observed value of the test statistic? Um, well, the first thing we need is an equation for chi-squared. So chi-squared is equal to 2t over mu naught which in this case is equal to 2 times 148.2 all divided by 9 2 times 148.2 equals divided by 9 equals 32.93 now evaluate the p-value of the test so what we need to do is come down to our chi-squared table and we have um, we need some degrees of freedom here so how many degrees of freedom have we got well um, as previously uh, because it is failure terminated so because it's failure terminated as told here that means the degrees of freedom is equal to 2r which in this case is equal to 20 if it had been time terminated we would have needed 2 outside of r plus 1 in order to um, get the correct degrees of freedom but we need two de uh, 20 degrees of freedom which is 2r so we had uh, 10 failures 20 degrees of freedom so we come down to the 20 degrees of freedom um, 20 degrees of freedom row and we're looking for a number of um, 32.93 and as you'll see on the on the 20 degrees of freedom row you've got one input for 31.4 so for 31.410 is equal to uh, the the p value is equal to um, 0 0.05 or that's the that's the equivalent alpha and then for 34 0.170 we get a p-value of uh, 0 0.025 so we know we're actually in reality going to get an answer somewhere between the two so uh, for our for our 32.93 we know that's going to fall somewhere in between 0 0.025 and 0 0.05 so the question is um, where does it fall? Well, you've got two ways of doing this. Either you can interpolate between the two, which is not really ideal, and we probably won't have to do that um, in an exam type situation. But um, what you can do is go to Excel and do a chi squared test there, which is what I'm going to do right now to get the answer. All right, so when I go and do a chi square distribution right tailed in Excel for 32.93 and 20 degrees of freedom, I get that the p value is equal to 0 0.034 and that does uh, that's reassuring because that does indeed fall between 0 0.025 and 0 0.05 as we knew that it would from looking at our chi-square table so this is the answer we're going to use and that's the end of this question